25-year-old Benedict Pepeng lives in Harrismet in the Free State. He was born there too, but he has aspirations to venture further than this community. After studying to become a wildlife tracker at the South African College for Tourism, he says he still wants more for his career and his life. Yeah, most of the people, they prefer working at farms and also at municipalities. But then I want to change the perception of our people in small place, that they can go and train for becoming more advanced people here in our community because we have less advanced people here in our community. CEO of the Peace Parks Foundation, Werner Mayberg, says as poaching syndicates become more and more advanced in their operations, rangers too need to up their skills to deal with the increased threat. It costs about 30,000 rand per graduate, including board and lodging, to attend the eight-week training course at the Southern African Wildlife College. An investment that Mayberg says is not only worthwhile, but critical. They're becoming more and more sophisticated and, and better and better at avoiding the effort of the rangers. One of the gaps identified was to help the rangers to track down and even find rhinos that have been injured or rhino orphaned. And to do that, you can either do it with sniffer dogs or you have to have very good skill to be able to interpret the tracks and signs and spur on the ground. So this campaign that we launched, see how it goes to support rangers with their tracking skills. Then. He emphasizes the strong frontline role that rangers play not only in anti-poaching efforts, but in wildlife conservation in general. You know, over a thousand rangers have been killed in the past decade, and they put their lives on the line on a daily basis. It's absolutely essential that one needs to try and support these rangers on the ground. They're the first line of defense as much as one possibly can. So if we can equip them and empower them with training, capacity building, and any support functions like this tracking skills, I think it's essential that we should try and do so. Pepeng says he hopes fundraising efforts are successful to put him one step closer to fulfilling his dreams out in the bush. I'm also hoping if I can go into the anti-poaching, I'll preserve our most beautiful animals, which is the white rhino and the black rhino, because they are becoming now less because they have been they are being poached. That will be a very bad taste to our country because most of the tourists, when they come to our place, they prefer seeing the rhinos. So it will be a bad thing for them not coming back again because they are the people who are boosting our economy here in South Africa. While a ranger's heart keeps him in the field, it's his mind that keeps poachers out of it. It's more critical than ever before that conservation efforts are driven by experienced and trained men and women. For the SABC, I'm Minoshni Pale in Durban.